Adobe Acrobat is a very powerful piece of software, but at $15 a month, that's a price point that a lot of people can't afford. So today we're talking about five pieces of software, three PDF readers, and two PDF editors that are free that lets you do what I think are the two main functions that make Adobe Acrobat great, being a PDF reader and also being a PDF editor. Let's get into it. Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Adrian Reddix, and we're talking about some Adobe Acrobat alternatives. When you're looking at the open source and free software world, you'll find that there is no single piece of software that can completely replace Adobe Acrobat because it does a lot of different things like uh, digital signatures and PDF reading, PDF editing, uh, and a whole slew of things that there isn't a one solution answer to in the open source and free world. What I think that people use Adobe Acrobat for the most is PDF reading and PDF editing. The first thing is you probably already have a built-in PDF reader using your browser. All Chromium based browsers like Chrome and Brave and Microsoft Edge and Firefox based browsers like Firefox and Waterfox have a built-in PDF reader. So if you don't wanna download anything extra and you don't want Adobe for some reason, you have one built in whenever you have these browsers. Are they the most robust of PDF readers? No, but they do get the job done. It's simple, you don't have to download anything other than a browser that uh, supports it and you have a browser-based uh, PDF reader right at your uh, disposal. The next one is Okalor. Okalor is a document beast when it comes to viewing documents. It doesn't just do PDFs, it does PDFs and TIFF and uh, images and CBR. CBR is like a, a comic book kind of format that people have comic books in and it opens almost any document you throw at it. I hadn't had a document that I couldn't open up as far as the most common ones. It opens EPUB and Mobi. Those are book formats that a lot of uh, those free libraries have their books in. I read so many books using Okalor. Okalor is one of my favorite uh, document viewers out there because it just, it's powerful. It opens everything seamlessly. I like the way that it's laid out. It's a very clean yet modern design. I really, really like this piece of software. And over the past couple of months, since I've uh, been using it a little more regularly, I really don't see myself uh, reaching for anything else. It's really, as far as a PDF reader and a document viewer, it's one of the best out there. And it's for all platforms, Linux, Mac, and Apple. The next one is Sumatra PDF. Sumatra PDF is a PDF reader that is a very lightweight PDF reader. It's only for Windows, so I'm sorry for all you Mac and Linux users, but Sumatra PDF is a very good reader because of how light it runs. It's just a very simple PDF reader. What I also like about it is it has a recent page that I can go back to anything that I want to view or things that I view very often. I can go back to them and I don't have to go and search through my files. Just open Sumatra up and it's there. This also is a pretty uh, robust document viewer. It's not as robust as Okalor, but it can open PDF, EPUB, Mobi, XPS, CBZ and CBR, which are comic book formats that people that read like comic books and some manga in also. So if you need something that runs a little lighter, let's say you have a machine that doesn't have a lot of resources and you want something light to run on top of it that won't bog your system now, Sumatra is is that thing for you. So let's get into the document editors. The first one is gonna be Inkscape. Inkscape is, if you look at it, it's a very intimidating piece of software. If you have a PDF that is heavily image-based, Inkscape is for you. It's very easy to select uh, a picture and resize it and reposition it. So if you have one that's really, that's heavily image base Inkscape is for you. I know it's a little intimidating. If you want a video about how to use Inkscape and what are some functions beyond doing some simple uh, resizing and repositioning of images, let me know in the comment section. And the one that I use on a day-to-day -day basis is gonna be LibreOffice Draw. It comes in the LibreOffice suite whenever you download that. I've done a couple of videos on LibreOffice. So if you wanna do uh, any text-based editing, LibreOffice Draw is a fantastic piece of software to use. 
Uh, it's so powerful in what it can do. Before I used it for editing PDFs, I was using draw for drawing out uh, organizational charts and different diagrams. And when I found out that it could do editing of PDFs, I was blown away because the way I used to edit PDFs was I would copy and paste them and then try to reformat it, change what I needed to change and save it as a PDF in either Word or Writer. I was just double working myself over and over again because I refused to pay this exorbitant price for a PDF editor. And when I found out that Draw could do it, oh, life was changed. So let me show you how to use Draw to edit a PDF. Let's go ahead and show you how to edit on draw. Let's go ahead and open up our PDF. We're going to open with draw. And it's really as simple as, let's go ahead and make this a little bigger. It's really as simple as clicking in. You see how it sections everything off with this blue square or this blue rectangle, right? So you'll get in here and it's as simple as clicking in and editing, you know, I could say business um, strategies and products. Or if I wanna go here and make a change, it's very easy to um, make any type of change that you want, right? You can go and straighten this up if you want to. If I go here and I'm like, I'm not happy with that. Let's move it a little bit. I can move it up. I can move it down, I can move it over here, I can move it back to where it was. It's a very powerful piece of software. So it's really that simple to do. You just click in and you edit. Um, if I wanna go here, change that to Redix. Anything I wanna do. Uh, it's a very simple piece of software and it's amazing that LibreOffice offers a very comprehensive office suite that does pretty much almost anything you need an office suite to do. Well, and when you're done with that, only thing you have to do is hit file, export, and make sure you export it as a PDF, a portable document format. Click there, save. It's gonna ask if you wanna overwrite. You can if you want to, it really depends on you. I am, and export. And now when I go ahead and open up, I go here, excuse me. And when I go to open up my PDF, we're gonna use Sumatra. There we go with the changes, let's make that bigger. And there are the changes right there. And that's how you use draw. Very simple, very easy. If you have a lot of text based PDF that you need to change, LibreOffice Draw is one of the best you can have out there. So what PDF editor slash reader do you use? Is it Adobe? Is it Draw? Is it Sumatra PDF? Let me know in the comment section. If you like videos like this, check out the video I did about five free softwares and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Have a good one.